Hello everybody, welcome to Joe the Lawyer. Today we're gonna to take a look at a video and an article um, on a social media influencer named Carrie Jernigan. She's also an attorney. The title of this article is Avoid Self-Serve Checkouts, Lawyer Warns, or It Could Cost You Thousands. I'm gonna give you my analysis of her warning. Does it check out? And also give you a little insight using my own experience. So before we dig into this article and watch this video, thank you for tuning in to Joe the Lawyer. I am your host, Joe Pometto, a practicing attorney in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I do family law. I do criminal defense. I do personal injury, a little bit of everything. I have my own law firm. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Free way to support the show. Also consider checking out my Instagram to get the latest updates on my practice, my practice results, and also just to follow my general social media. The links are in the descriptions below. All right, so let's take a look. This article is entitled Avoid Self-Serve Checkouts, Lawyer Warns, or It Could Cost You Thousands. Let's watch this uh, this video here uh, that summarizes what this attorney, TikTok influencer, um, Carrie Jernigan had to say. Are not going to spend their time and resources in deciding if you stole it on purpose or it was a these big box stores are not going to spend their time and resources in deciding if you stole it on purpose or it was a mistake. They have lost all sympathy and they are just taking a tell it to the judge approach. Attorney and influencer Carrie Jernigan is going viral on TikTok for her latest legal advice to her 1.2 million followers to avoid self-serve checkouts. Because not only can shoppers easily make a mistake, but down the road, they might also be accused of taking an item. Big box stores are. They usually have to present very little evidence to get an affidavit for warrant signed. The charges that could land you up to a year in jail get filed. And then you are fighting for your life trying to determine what day you were at Walmart, what all you bought. You have to spend thousands of dollars hiring a lawyer. And we have to go through grainy video footage to try to determine what all you bought that day. Was that great value mayonnaise or was that Hellman's mayonnaise to determine if the price is correct or incorrect. And you are then having to prove your innocence. Shoppers on social media were enraged by her insight, blamed the mistakes on the stores not having enough workers at checkout. Yeah, I didn't apply for the job of a checkout person, so these stores are too cheap to have employees. That's on them. We weren't trained for that. All right, let's scroll down here. We'll take a look at the article itself. It says, using a self-serve checkout counter could get you framed for stealing, warned one lawyer on social media. As a criminal defense attorney, I advise most people to steer clear of self check out she ex she states that there are three groups of people being charged with shoplifting using self checkout now let me state i practice in pittsburgh pennsylvania um you know it's a smaller uh it's an urban area but it's not that large maybe mid to smaller size city and um i haven't seen any cases of this i haven't seen any cases of this i'm not i'm not saying that they're not happening and i'm going to give you my opinion in in a second so uh this attorney says there's three groups those with the intent to steal and those sophisticated thieves still get away with this weight sensors and cameras have made stealing more difficult <clears throat> the second category she calls Theft by mistake group. These are the people that genuinely think it just forgot to scan an item, she continued, listing an example of accidentally leaving something at the bottom of the shopping cart. Despite the potentially innocent mishap, these folks do frequently face charges because the big box stores aren't going to spend their time and resources trying to figure out if you did it on purpose, Jernigan said. The third group is the people she called the truly innocent. Most of these people are not getting charged day of. Rather, their predicament begins when someone in the asset protection department of a store starts counting inventory perhaps days, weeks, or months later and comes up short. So they'll be watching hours of video to see the last person who checked out with the Mario Lego set because they're too short or an Xbox game. And for some reason, they pinpoint that they think you did it. 
According to Jernigan, mega, mega retailers like Walmart usually have to present very little evidence to get an affidavit for warrant on the charges. The charges that could land you up to a year in jail. You would then have to spend thousands of dollars hiring a lawyer and we have to go through grainy footage to try to determine what you bought that day. Jernigan urged people to pay with a card for larger purposes and always keep proof of purchase. I haven't um, checked out her channel. Uh, maybe I'll have to give it a look over here on TikTok. She's got a lot of influencers. Um, and we'll just leave this picture up right here. So I, I, while I haven't classified these three types of people into any groups, I have to say that I share her concerns. There is a get-go right by my office. A get-go is, uh, is like a Sheets or a Wawa. If you live over on the East Coast, a really big uh, convenience store. They sell all kinds of products. And they recently went to um, self-checkout counters. And most days they have one clerk. And that clerk is usually, do, uh, usually processing the sale of alcohol. So you pretty much have to go to the self-checkout. And one day I stood there in line and I watched a woman um, try to buy a couple items then walk out of the store this is when they first implemented it the manager was hovering around to see how everything was going she walked out of the store and he ran after her to grab her bring her back into the store ma'am you forgot to scan that out now he you know he wasn't accusing her of a mistake but she made an honest to goodness mistake there um, people individuals themselves aren't trained to do checkout or check everything out so um, it's it's really difficult Difficult, I can understand from the store's perspective to know when someone did something on purpose or when it was an accident. So I agree um, with her, the, the three groups that she puts in here. Really, there's two groups, okay? There are the people who do it intentionally, and then there are the people who make a mistake either by taking an item, miss scanning it, not scanning it correctly, um, and it goes into their bag, or they forget to scan it, and it goes into their bag, and they walk out of the store. It is outrageous that these stores are then following up and charging people. Now, maybe they're not doing it on low value items. I'm sure they would do it with an Xbox game or something that costs 30, 40, 50 dollars or more. Um, I agree with Ms. Jernigan's advice here. Get, number one, get a receipt. Number two, pay with a card, any type of card, so that there's an exact record of what you did. But here's the thing. If you walked out with it accidentally, if you walk, let's say the store can still prove you walked out with it, then the issue hinges on intent. Because if you walked out with it, but you made a mistake, how is the store supposed to know if you did it on purpose or you didn't? And then, like she stated, you would have to hire an attorney. Now, I'm fairly confident that myself as a pretty good criminal defense attorney, I could work that case out or I could win that case if we went to trial because they're going to have a difficult time showing intent to steal if somebody walked out with a bunch of bananas on accident, okay? An Xbox may be a little trickier, but still, I feel a really good criminal defense attorney can win that case for someone. But the point she's making is... You, you shouldn't even have to face a case. You shouldn't even need to go through that just because you made a mistake. And the truth is that the stores forcing people to use this system are the ones putting people at risk. And it's a bit horrendous. If you ask me, you got to run through this grainy footage, see what actually happened. You may have to go through a whole trial in order to prove your innocence. Now, again, I feel very confident that I could win most types of these cases. Um, however, nobody wants to be dragged into the criminal justice system. Nobody wants to have to go to court, face charges, be charged with a crime. Just being charged with a crime can, can, uh, permanently alter someone's life, their employment, etc. So um, I really have to say that I'm glad that she's bringing this to the attention of people. Um, I personally despise self-checkout. Now, when there's a, a super long line, okay, but I hate it. 
I hate self-checkout, okay? If I have one item and it can get me out of there, all right, maybe I'm walking out of there feeling a little bit grateful, but overall, I don't like it. It takes me longer to do it. You know, each individual person has to train themselves on how to scan vegetables, fruits, items that don't have easy to find uh, barcodes. E- even the bar, the items, every item with a barcode, it's difficult to find the, bar- the barcodes. I hate it. I hope that her PSA will cause people to revolt against it. I would also say that uh, if I had a client who was charged under these circumstances, I may consider filing a lawsuit against Walmart, Um, just like there's a lawsuit against Hertz, the, uh, the car rental company, because they were filing criminal charges against people who were overstaying the leases on their rental cars in other situations where they kept the rental cars past the terms of the contract. Just outrageous, outrageous sometimes how companies use the power of the police or the criminal justice system to go at, after pe- completely non-assuming people. So um, I agree with this attorney. I'm going to check out her page, uh, check out her TikTok maybe. You know, I, I think it's cool that she put that this out as a P. SA. I'm with her. Avoid the self-checkout. Um, and if you like my content, show the lawyer, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Also, add me on Instagram. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Have a great day.